What's going on, GT? Welcome to TLG GT Live. I'm SVP Aaron Guterman, and we are coming around the bend Thanksgiving, just a couple of days away. And what a better time now than to think about gratitude, what we're grateful for. Understand that gratitude is a powerful force that shapes the company's culture. When a new member, like when one brand new person joins the team, and radiates general, genuine appreciation. It sets a positive tone for everyone in the organization. Their enthusiasm creates a ripple effect, fostering a culture of camaraderie and growth. So those of you coming in and you're really excited for TLG and you've got a general and genuine appreciation for who we are, what we do and how we do it. You know, there's, there's, there's more gratitude coming back from this way because you are the lifeblood uh, of this industry. You are the, you know, what creates the boiling point within the group. We embrace the power of gratitude. You know, we embrace it and we watch the entire organization flourish. You know, be grateful, you know, you leaders out there, be grateful for a new player in your company who is outwardly appreciative. When you have people who are happy to be on your team and are quick to share it, it changes the entire culture of your entire organization. It creates synergy and excitement and energy, and that's what moves an organization forward. So I want to I wanna start out with an attitude of gratitude for everyone going out there and getting it done. Grateful for my mentors, grateful for TLG, Art Leaser, Kim Noretto all the power players on this team from the fifty, sixty thousand dollar producers to the hundred thousand dollar producers to the one K a month producers. Every one of you matter, but if you're a zero K, I don't think you were mattering to anybody. <laughs> you're not writing or writing or doing anything. You're showing no appreciation to the system that you know can take you to the next level. So show appreciation for those of you out there and you really are appreciative. The best appreciation you can give your upline is to succeed at a massive level. Y'all work the system the way it needs to be worked and show gratitude on a daily basis. So I wanna turn this over. Uh, just going over, we're coming up and rounding about to, uh, to the holidays and there's no one better, one of our best trainers out there. We got VP Nelson Alvarez going over the holiday objections. Y'all take some notes, y'all listen up. Y'all need to know how to handle holiday objections coming up. It's about time clocked in versus time clocked out. Nelson Alvarez, take it from here. Hey Aaron, thank you for that great introduction and your kind words. Happy holidays, GT. I'd like to tell you I'm Nelson Alvarez, Director Aaron Goodman, who's Director Art Leaser. And I just would like to help you guys understand the mindset required to overcome the objections that we start to get at this time of the year. I, I put together a list of three. Let's just go with the top three that we get every single year. So trust me, this is easier than you think. So let's start off with the first one that we're starting to hear more and more, and that's, hey, buddy, I have no time right now. Can you call me after the holidays? You're gonna hear that one the most. Second one is, listen, I don't have time right now. I'm with family. I've got family in for the holidays, or I'm traveling, I'm visiting family. And the third one, which you won't get as much, but it will come up, is my budget's all tied up in my holiday spending. Can you call me after the first of the year? And I don't have the money right now. So let's go to the number one and start right there. So let's talk about, I have no time. Can you call me after the holidays? Well, of course I can. First, be agreeable. Always say absolutely, yes, I can. I can call you after the holidays. And you probably were thinking this is going to take long. This is about a 15 minute conversation over something you know you want to get done. And think about all the other things you've put off till after the holiday. You're gonna have a humongous list in January. Why don't I help you? Let's carve out 15 minutes, get this off your plate now. That's a really quick way to advance your position. Just remind them you probably have a lot more going on after the first of the year. We don't want to push this out further. The other thing you could say is, sir, most people are not aware that the insurance companies get together 
analyze their previous year's payouts and start to make adjustments for the next year. And I notice here you have a birthday coming up soon. If we push this out any further, you might get a double whammy, the rate increase and the fact that you're a year older. If you could carve out 15 minutes, I'll make sure we get this done for you in no time flat. I've got a couple of slots available a little later today and tomorrow. What would work better for you where we could carve out those 15 minutes? Stress the fact that it doesn't take that long because in reality, it doesn't. It takes you about 10 to 15 minutes to get the words out. If it stays longer than that, that means they're interested. So continue from there. So don't forget for um, pushing it out to the first of the year, number one, you're going to have a lot more things to do after the first of the year. Let's keep this off of that pile. And then the other one is reminding them the holidays are the times that the companies look to reevaluate their prices. We don't want to get stuck with a higher rate just because we pushed something off that we could have gotten off our plate now. So the next one is I don't have time. I'm with family. I have family in town. Here's what we want to do a little bit of schedule um, investigating. Oh, that's great. I've got family in too. Let me ask you a quick question. Are they over with you or are you visiting them? Oh, I've got them here in town. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. When do you expect them to be gone? Oh, they're just staying till Saturday? Well, you know what? We're working all weekend long. Uh, we're putting in a little overtime to catch up to you hardworking folks. Why don't we do something on Sunday? I'm working all day. Would Sunday work for you? I would even go as far as saying, hey, um, Friday, you're probably going to be relaxing watching football. Oh, you don't watch football? Me either. Why don't we just get this done on a 15-minute session on Friday after Thanksgiving while we're recovering? Yeah, I'm working Friday too. It's tough to reach you guys during the week, so we make sure we um, offer overtime to our employees. I'll be working Friday. See, as Aaron um, taught me many, many years ago, Real winners work against the grain. Where most people are taking time off, entrepreneurs like us, we're working. We're getting it done. So investigate this schedule. See where you can fit yourself in and always throw in that line. Hey, if you could carve out 15 minutes, I'll make sure we get this done for you. Then finally, the one about the budget. That's a touchy one. You want to be careful. You want to make sure if they start talking about budgets, let them know, use the feel, felt, found. Hey, I know exactly how you feel. Um, I felt the same way last year, but you want to know what I found out? When January came, I had to pay for all those things I put on my charge card in December. Uh, I, I'm better off getting stuff done earlier than later. If you could carve out 15 minutes and we could examine your budget, I'll make sure we find a way to take advantage of the fact that the insurance companies haven't raised their rates yet. And um, we'll get you in under the wire because come January, I can't promise you the rates won't be different. So it'll save you time and money if we can get this done now. So those are three of the objections that we get all the time. Every year is almost as if all of our clients go to um, objection um, producing class and they they talk with each other and practice for us. But either way, here's what I want you to do. All, always understand they initiated the conversation when they sent in this lead. So do your job. Talk to them about what they asked for and don't take it personally if they're very busy. If you get it really strong, listen, call me after the first of the year. Just ask them to remember your name. Make them save your, your name in their phone book and then remind them. I'm going to call you because this is as important to me as it was to you the day you wrote this. And let's get together after the first of the year. Let's get your family protected. Hey, have a great holiday. And the call politely. Never get frustrated. Never get mad at your money. So with that, I'm going to turn this back over to you, Aaron. Happy holidays to everyone. And I'll see you at the top. That was good stuff, Nelson. I appreciate you. More than you know, man. Lots of gratitude coming your way from, uh, from this SVP to VP, Nelson Alvarez. You know your stuff. You've been around for, for a long time, Nelson. Uh, you know, just honored to have you training with us. Appreciate you on a daily level. The most successful salespeople in any industry go against the grain. See, people are getting into a mode of thinking about time off on whatever they're doing, whether it's from their J-O-B or, 
or maybe they own a store and they're shutting the doors. Who knows what their mode is, but whether they're going into a four-day weekend or maybe a five-day weekend starting Wednesday, they're thinking about time off. The most successful people think the opposite of the way the world direction is heading. When people are thinking time off, clocked in sales agents see opportunity to set and make as much money as possible. Yes, we're gonna go spend time and invest time and engage in time and with our friends and our family on Thursday. But people are, are ready to get back into uh, conversations with you by Friday. You know, if you guys are leaning in and Nelson just gave you phenomenal examples of uh, what to do from now till Thursday, but heck, even while you're sitting down with dinner, when you're with people, you know, when you're with your family, love and take care of the ones that you're with. Utilize this opportunity to ensure that everybody knows what you're doing, you know, how you can protect them within the industry and then move it back into setting appointments on Friday. You know, people, people are back into motion. I'll tell you, people are going to be getting up at 3 a.m on Friday morning for Black Friday deals to go stand in line for hours to save a little bit of money. <laughs> like people are absolutely getting ready to sacrifice to get things done and uh, people are in the buying mood. So if you're, if you're looking to get back in, in, uh, into your groove, start Friday, move into Saturday dials. You know, we're not gonna have any calls on Wednesday. We're not gonna have any calls on Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll have Saturday morning dial sessions, but get back into the groove and enjoy your time with your family, but anticipate opportunity. Y'all get after it. So we're gonna move in to our week three UWAs, calling out the top 10 and calling out the top five. All right, we got Ryan Desmond, one application, 420 AP. India Favorite, one application, 516 AP. Gifty Davis, one application, 846 AP. Devin Thorne. New UWA, one application, 907. Congratulations, Devin. Uh, proud of you, man. Keep crushing. If you can do one, you can do as many as you want to. The time is now. The time is yours. Mark Spear, one application, 1200 AP. JC Vela, one application, uh, 1274. David McKay, two apps, 1284. Deidre Hughes, one app, 1285 AP. Terry Wagner, five applications, 2000. 111 AP. Latasha McCoy, one app, 2,274. Tim Hildress, three apps, 2,301. Let's go, Tim. Paul Spala, two apps, 2,400 AP. Nelson Alvarez, three applications, 2,627. Holly Heiser, four apps, 3,858 AP. Zach Rudebeck, two apps, 3,993. And we got... Uh, Stephanie Molina, five applications, 4,008 AP. Latif Duncan, five applications, 4,648 AP. Number two, Jared Leifert, three apps, 5,440 annual premium. And number one, Danielle Leifert, seven applications for $9,371 annual premium. Top 10, always crushing. Top five, man, I'm proud of y'all. You keep pushing. Also, we... Uh, we have the, the Biltmore trip coming up. Uh, last couple of weeks to qualify. You know, I'll have to make a decision when it comes down to it if we don't have five people over 30K issue paid, but we'll make that decision when it comes to it. All I ask you to do is crush this week, crush next week, and we'll see where we land. We're gonna have a great time at Biltmore. Those who, uh, who wanna go, y'all push. Y'all push right now. Do the best that you possibly can do, and you guys care about what you're doing, care about your business, care about your clients, and put in the work to go serve and protect. That's your mission mentality. Y'all stick around for the top five. Hey, what's good, TLG? Zach Rudback out of Utah coming at you at number five this week with 3,993 annual premium across two applications. Guys, this, uh, this week wasn't the greatest for me. Definitely wasn't the greatest. So to be back in the top five is pretty freaking awesome, not gonna lie. Um, it, and it's my own fault. You know, I didn't re up in leads well enough, uh, and it kind of bit me, but it, which is why, you know, once I get paid out on these, the majority of it is going to go back in the lead. So I keep that momentum up and I'm not faced with the same problems I faced this week. So thank God I got the TLG system and I, I got the upline that I do. Cause, uh, 
you know, between that and putting in, just consistently putting in the work with what I had, um, you know, got me through. So I actually had this gentleman on Thursday, right before we were going to close out for the week. Um, I, I ran a one call close on, so that big America one that I had was one call close. And he was telling me, oh yeah, I'm paying uh, 400 some odd dollars a month between two policies. And I'm looking at his birthday, listening to his health info. I'm like, yeah, something doesn't sound right about that. So I checked with toolkits and uh, sure enough, he qualified for Eagle Premier. Uh, same face amount that he had between his two policies, but yeah, like 108 bucks less, something like that. And uh, instant approval. So that was cool. Uh, yeah. So big thing I can tell you is... You know, I, I've been having a hard time getting a hold of leads, especially my game time leads. I've been having a really hard time getting a hold of them. Uh, so biggest lesson I learned this week is not only re-upping leads, but when you're ready to, of course, diversify your lead systems. You know, I'm going to start working some of these, uh, uh, what are they called? Social media aged, more, not, not aged, wow. Social media mortgage protection leads. I'm going to start working some of them in addition to aged leads, probably end up getting another batch of game times. Um, you know, just, to, if I don't get a hold of clients on one end, I'll get a hold of leads on another end. So there you go. Hey everyone. My name is Stephanie, director Danielle and Jared Leifert. Um, I'm uh, coming in at number four for the week with 4,008 AP with five applications. So just a little bit about what I've done this past week, uh, to see growth in my business was utilizing the text blaster project broadcast along with my dial sessions. Um, so I'm telling you guys, utilize all of the tools that you have given to you, whether that's through Zippo or Project Broadcast, it'll make a world of difference. You will see an increase in your business like I have. And of course, you know, white sheet out your day. That is something that I had to overcome and work on. Um, I am a full-time student and I am a mother of three teenagers. So my time and schedule is very tight. So being able to white sheet my day um, has helped ensure that I get my dials in throughout the day and throughout the week. And then, of course, we want to utilize our upline. You guys, I call my upline religiously after every call, every appointment, um, every application sent in to go over what I could have done better, what I could have changed, things like that. So definitely utilize your upline um, and use all the tools that you have um you know, available to you and you will see an increase in your business. Hey guys, this is Jared Leifert, direct to Aaron Gooderman, who's direct to Art Leaser. And I came in number two for the week last week uh, behind my wife. So that was awesome. Uh, husband and wife duo one and two. And uh, the better half de definitely got number one. Uh, but I did uh, three apps for a little over 5,400 AP. Guys, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my week. First of all, I wanted to stress the power of running on the weekend. Okay, guys? So first of all, uh, I was calling to set an appointment on Saturday, you know, during Saturday dial session, like we should all be doing and all be on. And was having a little bit of a trouble nailing down a time for this couple to meet. And they were pushing me off, pushing me off. And they, and they said, you know what? Let's just do this after Thanksgiving. Just give me a call back after Thanksgiving. I was like, you know what? Um, let me see if I can open up some time on Sunday for you. And I was like, yeah, I actually have a slot that I can open up on Sunday. And I met and met with them Sunday evening. And that was the only time that they were going to be able to meet before Thanksgiving. So went out there, was able to help them, did a little over 3,600 AP on that. And guys, when you are able to get a policy done during the, uh, during the weekend, you're just setting yourself up for success. So, you know, you're setting your week up for success. So I always try to get at least one app in over the weekend, whether it's a same day set or a next day set or uh, doing a live transfer. I always try to get in a, uh, a policy sold over the weekend. And then I was able to get a couple more sales throughout the week. And guys, I just wanted to stress the importance of what the holiday weekend is like. Uh, you know, so right now, uh, we're in Thanksgiving week, right? You got to push hard. People are going to want to be meeting uh, during this time, but you have to push their schedule. You have to schedule investigate, all right? Uh, you will likely, you know, 
Van Barnett always runs on Thanksgiving morning. You know, he always finds somebody, the person that's not cooking dinner, the person that's showing up later, he'll always run up an appointment on, on uh, Thanksgiving morning. Uh, dial during the weekend. You know, everybody's going to be off on Friday. Everybody will be off on Saturday. You know, dial and get appointments on the books. Get these people protected because you never know when something is going to happen, guys. The urgency of what we have to do is so great. Uh, you know, I, I was just talking with somebody this morning. I was like, I've written policies on people and then they died three weeks later and the policy paid out. So guys, what we do really matters and get that in force now because one of the key things that you can always talk about during the holidays is you don't want to put this off because the holidays are the number one time where people get into accidents. People are traveling. So you want to get this protection put in place today to ensure that your family is going to be safe. Don't put this off because as thankful as we are for family, we definitely don't want anything happening to them if something happened to us. So get out there, protect your people, move with urgency, and get those appointments in now. Be dialing this weekend. You have to work on your thought process. Work on our thought process, not the process of what you think is going to happen, right? So a great salesperson will always move with urgency and go against the grain. When other people are, are taking their time off, we put our time in because we're able to get a hold of people. That's why Saturday morning dials are so important. That's when normal people, Monday through Friday, nine to five people have off. That's why we're so successful on Saturdays. Same thing is gonna be happening on Friday and Saturday this week. People are going to be off. They're going to be in a good mood. So be sure to get in and make dials and make November great. There's still a ton of time left. So talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, y'all. Danielle Lightford here. Direct to Jared Lightford. Direct to Aaron Guterman. And then to Art Leaser. I'm number one for the week. Over 9,300 AP. And this week, I was focused on resolving leads. Um, people that I've not been able to get a hold of that I did purchase beginning of November. And then, of course, in October as well. Um, I actually placed an uh, order on October, the first week in October. Uh, and I never got a hold of this game time. Uh, I was able to finally get a hold of her. Y'all keep in mind that's 45 days after my order. You never resolve a lead until you speak with them. And sometimes it takes more than six attempts uh, to get a hold of them. You never, never throw a lead away until they say, do not call me anymore. Put me on the do not call registry. Like, but besides that, if you're not hearing from them, you keep reaching out. Well, I finally got a hold of her this week. I scheduled a meeting for just her. Uh, when we originally booked the appointment, her husband was set. Uh, he had a farmer's agent where he could only get the death benefit, um, nothing else. And he didn't even want to think or talk about life insurance. So we actually got her, the wife, in a better plan. She was in a very, very expensive term insurance policy, low coverage, and was going to run out in eight years, and she did not know it. That is why we do policy reviews. Even when someone says, I'm good, it says whole life, no. I want to see it in writing, or I'm just going to assume that it's going to run out when they need it the most. And I was able to educate that client on what that policy does, gained her trust to where her husband was listening into in the background and was like, hey, I want you to look into coverage for me, where we don't really do a one-legger. You know, he wasn't really, he was like, hey, you can talk with her. I know I'm the beneficiary. He didn't even want to be in the meeting or to discuss that, but he was still in the background, and he finally came forward and said, hey, I like what you're doing here. 
I definitely want you to serve me as well, which was amazing because that was a lead I purchased 45 days ago and now it's gonna be two sales. Another one on a game time, I met with a pastor in 2021. Uh, her big concern was to just have a certain coverage amount in place for her children that never, never runs out. I put her in an IULE with Mutual of Omaha. Um, we built so much rapport uh, and we discussed, you know, my time in the ministry back in the day where she basically uh, found me on Facebook. We've been friends for two years now, uh, stays up to date with me. Um, throughout the years, but it wasn't until last month I posted about life insurance and about how life insurance is not just death insurance. It does many things. Uh, the number one is cash accumulation, and that really made her start to think, hey, I actually, you know, I'm a minister. I don't have a church salary. I actually go out and preach at different churches, so I don't have any future income. I don't have any retirement income. Uh, I need you to help me, Danielle. And I was able to put her in an FNG to where in the future, she's going to be able to pull that at, out uh, retirement income tax free. And that's just a little bit of what we do, y'all. So just don't think that one sale, it just lasts for, for that month. No, this business, it lasts for years, years, and years. And when you build that client agent relationship and that trust and rapport, they will always keep coming back to you because you've served them well. I hope this helped. Everyone, I love y'all. Happy Thanksgiving.